Hi, I'm Jack Vincent and this is BraveNewSales.com. I'm just back from the Toastmasters 2011 International Convention in Las Vegas and I had a blast. It really was cool. It was educational, it was inspiring, and it was cool. So, and I'm going to talk today about a number of things about that conference the rebranding of Toastmasters and what I believe is a really great alignment with the product itself, which I think is cool. I'm also going to talk today about the conference, the numerous things that I did, some of the workshops that I saw, Get Lost, Rockstar, and uh, about Olivia, our favorite European this week and last, especially when she competed in the international competition. So as you can see, I've got a lot to talk about and I better keep my time short. Get the hint, Olivia? Ha! I just made a joke at the expense of my dear friend and fellow European District 59 champion Olivia Schofield, who did us all proud in Europe and I think did the Toastmasters international movement proud by competing in the inter-regional contest on Thursday. There were 81 or 82 districts going into nine semifinal heats. Olivia was in, I believe, heat number five, and she came out and she nailed it. She won the semifinal heat with a speech about decision making, and again, finished first, went in to the big international speech contest final on Saturday morning, in which she had to come with a new speech. We worked with her, several of us Europeans and some of her mentors, uh, I could say Mark Hunter, a former Toastmasters champion, Freddie, a bunch of other folks, Benjamin Tweede, her friend from high school, Susie. We worked with her on uh, Friday. Uh, she really, really worked hard. The one thing we didn't work hard enough on was her timing. She came out on Saturday, one of the nine finalists, nailed it again. Virtually everyone I spoke with thought she had the best speech. We thought she had the best speech, but she went over time, 15 seconds over. Seven minutes and 30 seconds is the longest you can speak in an international contest. She went about 7.45. No matter how good the judges thought she was, the timekeepers had to eliminate her. Her speech was about turning failure into success. And the beauty of it was that after the speech, she turned her failure of timing out into success. How did she do it? By handling it gracefully. The reviews were so positive, of course, that she could do nothing but come out with a head of steam and hold her head high because she did us all proud. But she didn't melt down. She didn't blame anybody but herself. She, uh, she called it a learning experience and she was everybody's darling. She's now getting invited by Toastmasters districts around the world. I know of one in Florida that wants to have her come in and do a speech. She did it by turning her failure of timing out, of going over the time limit, into a success by handling it so gracefully, with a sense of humor, just beautiful. Olivia, we're all behind you. We love you here in Europe. We love you around the world, I think. That was the reaction following. And really, uh, you turned failure into success through grace. Well done. We're all behind you. The conference itself, I had a blast. I have to say, I showed up a little bit, not skeptical, but my first hour there I was thinking, oh man, this is too big. 2,000 people. I've only got about 15 of my European District 59 friends here, and I feel comfortable in Europe. You know, that's my comfort zone. I came here and immediately found myself out of the comfort zone. Went to the branding workshop on Wednesday morning with my fellow European co-brand ambassador, Benjamin Bruhl. I sat up front with Sally Newell Cohen, who's handling the communications department and managed the rebranding process through the agency, and Sasha. Great job, you guys. Why do I say this? Because the brand is really, really what it should be. And I'll come back to that. 
came out of that conference feeling like I had a bunch of friends and just never looked back, had a great time. Attended some great workshops, two of them in particular. One was by Mark Hunter, past champion. It was about leadership and getting lost. Really cool the way he linked leadership to not always knowing all of the decisions, getting out of your comfort zone, bringing out the best in yourself and other people. That if you're always in charted territories, you really won't be doing innovative things and reaching your own best, let alone helping others reach their best. Really cool presentation. Loved it, Mark, and so did some of my fellow Toastmasters sitting next to me. Another presentation that stood out was by Craig Duswelt. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing that right. Uh, Rockstar Marketing, how to stand out from the, from the rest in marketing yourself, whether it's a public speaker or a writer. I took a lot of those uh, points that he had uh, to, to, to heart because one of the things he said is write a book. I'm just finishing one now and it resonated with me with the other things that I better start doing if I want to increase my brand and you can do it too. Uh, well done Craig, I learned a lot from it and it was a fun rock and roll. We, we were actually dancing at some points in the one hour presentation. It was just fun and it was cool. Which brings me back to the Toastmasters rebrand. You know, when I joined Toastmasters about seven years ago, my third or fourth speech was about branding. I'm an old branding guy, sales guy, marketing guy, and one of the things that really stood out to me was that my club had a really cool feel about it. The Toastmasters brand did not. I was banging that rebranding drum years ago, but not very loudly, but I really thought that the old Toastmasters brand, sorry if I'm hurting anybody's feelings, but you got it right now, that old Toastmasters brand was a little bit stale. I don't think it changed much since the founding of Toastmasters over 80 years ago in that it was a logo and a very old-fashioned one. The new brand, I have to say, is cool. It's clean, it's simple, and it's right for the product. My own club, Toastmasters Zug in Switzerland, we had our summer party where we take a break because we have so many international members traveling. And my own club had our summer party at the beginning of July. It was fun. It was great. We had rebuilt our club. We were losing members. We got a good board. We came back and we really rebuilt our club, not just numerically, but cool. All of the members are cool. They're really nice people. They're very engaging. They all want to learn. They don't think they know it all. We got a really cool club. Bang! Out comes the rebrand, announced last Wednesday in Las Vegas, and I have to say, the brand is simple, clean, not cluttered, and I think cool, which for me, the brand and the product are aligned. Toastmasters is cool. It's educational. It's inspiring. It's not a bunch of old guys sitting around smoking cigars, toasting each other, which the old brand implied. I think as you get comfortable with the new brand and see the new brand, whether you're just a member of the general public or if you're a Toastmaster, you're going to agree Toastmasters is cool. Now, for those club leaders out there, you want to start using the brand, yes, in Europe, you can contact me or Benjamin we will help you do whatever we can do, but all of the answers are online at toastmasters.org slash brand portal. Even that is easy, simple, functional. I think it's pretty cool. This is Jack Vincent, and this is BraveNewSales.com.